This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot Reading for Sagittarius from July 17th to 31st, 2022. Let's get to it. What advice, ooh, the magician, manifest. What advice do the spirits have for you? Five of Cups, ah, letting go of something. Justice, balance, Two of Cups. Oh, there's a conversation coming in. It's mutually beneficial. This could be love related. Somebody, and it's all to do with manifesting. Manifesting wanting to come out on its own. Like something from the ethereal is being brought into the tangible, into the real. Got another major arcana card with the justice energy. It's, it's almost like somebody, somebody with this five of cups, somebody that, that you're presently intertw intertwined with is bringing something to balance because of some sort of feeling of loss. Let's clarify this five of cups. This is their energy along with the justice. For them, learning, ah, for you, duties. It's like they've, they've uncovered something. They've learned of something that they need to make up for or needs to be made up to you. Let's clarify the energy between you. For that, we'll go to the Untamed Elemental Oracle Cards. The elephant. Ah, they've got their eyes on you. There's something very beautiful coming in. Like they're watching you here. The energy, where, where the energy's cut off, it, it's it's more into your energy. So they're they're close, they're they're close to coming in. Not seeing any action yet, but. They have a big perspective of something, something that gives you a lot of beauty, something that, that you've been wishing to happen here. They may have had two directions to go in the past. And judging by the black cloak, it, it's like they chose the wrong direction. They chose to see things in, in a different perspective than they should have. And now we see them learning. So there, there's a changeover in terms of their actions to you. It's interesting. What, uh, what sort of... Well, well, let's clarify the Justice card first. We'll get to the Two of Cups. But what sort of justice is being brought to you? They feel it's their duty. I wonder if there's any action behind it. Seven of Swords, something that was stolen. Six of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. This is something that you love, so something that is, it, it's to do with a lot of money. It's to do with tangibility here. Whatever happened in the past, it's like this person feels like they're part of something that was stolen from you. And whatever perspective led them to feel that way, that that wasn't their true nature. They thought that they were part of something right. They see that what was meant for you is truly meant for you here. They have to restore this. They have to give something back in terms of of making the situation balanced. What is this? Being called to the Seven of Swords. 
It's all to do with something that you're manifesting because it's, it's not what they tried to manifest. They thought something different. What is the Seven of Swords? For them, truth. Ah, for you, generosity. They need to give you something. They, they, they were lured into a darker side of some, some truth. That They chose to look at something from a position that they thought was true, but now they're seeing that it wasn't. They've learned something. This is all to do with what you've wanted. Interesting. What is this Two of Cups? Like there is communication taking place here. Let's clarify this Two of Cups because this is your energy. Page of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Something causes you pain. And the Page of Swords. Ah! This is the meeting between both of you regarding the pain. The Page of Pentacles is them deciding that they want to see your truth. You're, you're idealistic. You're, you're functioning from a pl place of perfection with this Page of Swords energy. There's something material here that hangs in the balance and it's... You've both felt pain because of whatever this Ten of Pentacles is that's meant for you. They're, they're realizing that, that they're, they need to, they want to learn your side of things. So that's the mutually beneficial communication taking place. But it's in regard to tears, pain, cheating, theft. Hmm. Let's clarify this Three of Swords for them. Friendship. Yeah, they want to make things right for you. Fierce. You don't know if you can trust them. Hmm. Be careful with this fierce energy. If you center on that, you're going to manifest fear, right? That this person is not coming to you to try to cheat you. It's almost like they were involved in something or they listened to somebody who did cheat you and they were involved through that faction. They, they chose the wrong side. There was two, two sides they could have chose. They chose the wrong side and they need to make things right. They're, they're coming into your energy here. So they're already in your energy. You're pointed towards them. <laughs> but this person's nature isn't that of a thief because they, they feel remorse. They feel it's their duty to restore balance to you. And that's why they're coming in. The Two of Cups is balanced energy. Be careful with your fear of them because that, that's not what their intentions are. Uh, what advice do the spirits have for you in terms of this meeting that's taking place, this communication? Uh, nine of Cups. The chariot, huge push forward. And the 10 of cups. This is what your vision was. There's something that you knew that was meant for you that was taken away. You, you have a very firm aspect. It's almost like something that you felt pride in. Like you, you, you knew that this was coming to you. It was very beautiful and then it stopped. It was halted and this person it's because of this person, in a way. They, they, they had some sort of power in getting something to you, but they were led astray. Now they're seeing things from a different perspective. They want to learn what really happened from your perspective. This is you. You're right in everything that happened. Like the rainbow is there for you. Your perspective is the real perspective. The Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, they, they feel that they need to... This person really feels like they need to, to make things right. They may have chose to look at things from a different perspective because they, they received something from that. So that they automatically wanted to believe in something that wasn't true. But you're in the power to, to unite with this person, to move forward. 
I'm still not seeing any action here. That's the only problem. Like the chariot is a huge forward action, but this is the advice of the spirits. Spirits are telling you that that it's almost like forgiveness. It's a very bonding moment that that should be happening because this person wants to support you. Let's clarify this chariot. It's in your energy for you. Mortification <laughs> for them. Materialism. Yeah. It's not easy to forgive, but if you want this, you, you have to, you have to put a shield over your heart. You can't, don't, don't let it be seen that you have any negative in negative judgments that you're holding or you're, you're holding on to pain. Just kind of, you, you need to have that armor on in order to get your, your wish fulfillment here. This is all to do with materialism, something that's meant for you. This is, so far, this is all in emotions. It, it's all in thoughts. It's, it's not, the only thing that's tangible is something that's meant for you. So in the extended, we're gonna go to the random outside element questions because I don't feel that there's love for this person. It, it's, it's more like mortification. How could they be so, you know, materialistic, whatever? This is all about you manifesting. So we'll ask, who will be taking the next action towards whom? These are all random generated questions. That's a good one. What are this person's current feelings towards you? We see that. We're going to dive deeper into their feelings. There's something there. Uh, what's something that will surprise you about this person? And we'll ask, what secret came between you and this person in the past? Interesting. You might get some light shed on what really happened from their perspective. All right. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.